Hello, 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 ladies, gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be reacting to Forged in Eternum Community Q&A May 2023. So questions and answers about the upcoming patch. I think we're all going to be interested in that because there should be some interesting stuff in here. So that being said, we have only 10 minutes, nice little fast video. I'm going to give my input as somebody who's been playing the game since beta. Um, basically every single day and we're gonna see what there is and we're gonna share our opinions so let's get into it I guess first we're gonna test the volume is Will the volume groups okay? be enabled in OPR I would in like to see where my actively participate in the Will community you guys oh. is ever do f all for PvP dude <laughs> okay so this is just a bit of com okay that confused me PvP content man I get this question all the damn time I'm out of here he rage quit, bro. Ain't no way he rage quit in real life, bro. Come on. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the May Q&A. Super excited to be here with Dave V in an empty chair because someone thought her personal affairs were more important than work. And we decided to just jump in and start shooting. Before we get too far, though, a lot of questions came in on the expansion. And right now, like, we're so pumped up about season two. We want to focus our questions on that. So we're not going to be taking any expansion questions. Okay. Without further ado, Mr. Lovin, let's go. Can we ever expect more things to use our faction tokens on? Uh, yes, we can. In fact, uh, with season three, we're okay, going to be- season three. So first of all, faction tokens, why am I interested in that? For example, maybe on the PVP to base account. Right now we have nothing to use it on, but let's see what they are, what their idea is. I mean, right now, the best thing you can use it on is getting resilient perk and then selling that or getting uh, books like the little, the little things that you make uh, bags out of. Those are the only two options really valuable for that at the moment. Expanding uh, the faction stop, adding another level uh, and adding new things to purchase. Pretty cool. Okay, so they're gonna add another level on top. Sure, that seems good. Is there a collection log for transmog? Collection log? Dude, imagine collection log in this game. That would be really sick. Collection log is super huge in the RuneScape scheme and like in a runescape uh, part of youtube so that would be actually kind of cool like when you get a name like you get a cool looking drop you have a collection log and then you can just transmog into it that would be like really clean yes the transmog screen will show all visual appearances that you can collect oh that's sick wait that's really sick so as you check them off you can sort of use it as a completionist uh checklist they they leave this under the radar, but that's really cool. So you can find like all these cool different skins and just that's really nice actually. That is really cool. They, they this was like a 10 second response, but that's super cool. Their plans to earn transmog tokens out. Uh, that's the problem though. Transmog tokens are a battle pass thing, so pay to win again, unlucky. Outside pay to skin. the battle pass. Absolutely, you'll be able to earn them uh, on well on the free pass as well. Uh, you'll have a rare chance of finding them in game on, in a probably an elite chest. Okay, that's good. So you can find transmogs in elite chests. So they are hopefully viable in game. So that could be good. If if it's not only locked behind pay, I'm okay with that. So I have something to use my money on. So we're not 100% locked in on that. You, they should definitely make it so you can get it for free as well. But yeah. Uh, and then uh, through Prime, if you're a Prime uh, owner, you'll also be able to get some tokens. Okay, well, if you're not Prime Owner, uh, unlucky. If you are a Prime Owner, twitch.tv slash MikaRS, please subscribe for free. Thank you. Okay. Resilience and Ward, why is this even possible? Good question. I know Scott actually personally uh, runs into this all the time, and it's just not a good design. Uh, it is being fixed in Season 2. You'll okay. start to see it in the PTR coming up, and then uh, we will make those exclusive perks so you never get... Uh, Dude, they're just dropping in good update after good update or good answer after good answer. That That's a good answer, for example, for the PvE players, can't have Ward and Resi. Or for the PvP players, can't have Resi and Ward, right? That's so that's both of them good. on the same. And what will happen to the first light storage while first light is closed? All right, so I know I said no expansion questions, and this could be construed as an expansion question, but since we're closing it now... What we're going to do is we're going to refund the price of the house. We're going to give you all of the stuff you had in storage back. And who knows, maybe in the future, you'll have a different place that is new that you can put your storage in. OK, but that doesn't quite answer the question. For example, if you have 2000 storage worth of items in your storage, what happens to those items? Do they get on your account? Do they get moved to a different storage? I think that was the point of the question. Are there? Yeah, they didn't quite answer the yeah. 
they just said give it back, but they didn't quite answer the question that was like they didn't answer what was meant to be asked. Plans for adding more OPR maps or for example, an answer would be they will be moved to your to the closest storage in Cutlass, for example, right? Or incentives for open world PvP, taking or holding forts or 3v3. Uh, so two good bits of news. One is 3v3 arenas. We're going to be adding some more direct rewards. That is good. Right now, it's, you know, mostly the salt and the PvP experience. There will be actual uh, a chess reward. Thank fuck, that is so good. The only reason why I don't play more arenas and why I force myself to play OPRs, even though I enjoy arenas more, is the fact that you get an insanely good chest out of OPR and you get nothing out of the arena. Them adding a chest to the arena, as long as the rewards are somewhat compatible to the OPR rewards. Now in OPR, you can get like four or five rewards, right? But in arena, even if you get like one or two rewards, as long as they are on equal level and they can be upgraded to legendaries, this is huge. Reward coming to that. But I hope it's not only two daily because that would be complete ass. Which will be nice. Uh, and we talked about this a couple of times in season three, Influence V2 is going to shake up uh, open world. Two daily would completely suck. This needs to be unlimited. This needs to be like OPR, you can farm it a million times if you want to. PvP, we hope in a major way, so. Two daily is completely dog. Them limiting it to two a day is completely shit. Excited about that. Please let us just put up as- But we will watch it, we'll see if that is actually the case. As many crafting trophies as we like. And this would be huge. Allowing players to put every single trophy they have in the house would make it so nice. And I don't understand why they still haven't done it. Just let us put every trophy in the house. And so we have all the buffs, like it's so boring. Teleporting around the map to change trophies is such a colossal waste of time. It is. Oh, I guess I'll take this one. Um, we're looking into it. Come on, brother, man, just say yes, we will do it. I feel like it's, they would have already done it, but it's probably like hidden behind some crazy spaghetti code. So the, the, the PR response is we're looking into it. The real answer is it's probably not happening anytime soon. I understand. I hear the frustration. I, I'm aware of it, um, as is the team. And it, it's, it's, it's on our list of things to do, but I'm not going to. Yeah, it's not a priority because they have to pump up all their updates right now. I lock into a timeline on it yet. Yeah. And we have, we know the real solution people want is to be able to, to sort of swap. No, the real solution people want is let us put all the trophies in the house or let us combine all the trophies into one massive trophy that will take like half of the wall, for example, just huge trophy consisting of every trophy that you can, you can even lock it behind, let's say 50K. You go to a crafting station, you need a bunch of expensive resources, a bunch of oricalcum, asmodium, this, that, bada bim, bada boom. You combine every single trophy that exists and you make one grand massive trophy. And that would fix your problem and it would be so good for everyone. These out, that's a more expensive solution there are some shorter term solutions that we're looking at trophies that combine a lot of functionality uh which will make it you know make you required to switch way less often or what he is saying is he is saying that for example you could use armoring jewel crafting uh what else is there engineering all of those together and then maybe like gathering ones all together as well or removing the trophy limit yep so, so you can yeah. just have them all as another option we're looking at will you be adding more difficult music Interesting, but Me, random. You, you could go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna start small. We got a really fun, like super hard uh, music piece coming with the summer event that I think you know that that event is very themed around music, and it's a fun one. And we'll see who can all complete it. I, I couldn't complete it. For yeah, no. <laughs> he said it was too hard, so that's when we knew it was just right. Yeah. Will a damage tally be added to expeditions? Is that a score, right, tally? Probably. We're, we're thinking about a damage tally. We don't want anything happening on the fly because it creates not the best behavior for someone who's not doing great in damage. Uh, uh, but that again, is we're not a... locking into. Okay, like, bro, just this is such a. I, it is such a like. Okay, we want to protect the noob's answer. Oh, this guy did really bad. Yeah, of course, the the reason why people want the damage tally is because people don't want to play with somebody who's not doing damage on a DPS roll. Simple as that. If you're doing bad. Unlucky, improving the next one, right? Do a time frame. We see it. It's, it's, it'd be kind of cool, but I don't think it's uh, super like at the top of the priority list mm. for us. Why is the 10 player arena coming with season two temporary? It sounds like fun group content that we could play for years to come. Will the raid at least be permanent? 
Uh, that's a great question. I think right now those seasonal trousers as we're calling them are very thematic to the season, right? Like, so they fit in the story and all that. So we plan on sort of replacing them with a seasonally appropriate uh, trial each season. See, I don't think that's a good idea. I think people would rather have many more options to do than having them always rotate. But I guess that can then leave the content to be kind of dead. With that said, I you know I think I agree they're fun, and I could see us in the future uh, finding ways to utilize them in, in other ways. Yeah, I think if you know enough players want it, we, I think we have a track record of saying we're going to listen. So if if that's if that's what we see when it's after the first season, we'll we'll obviously look into it. Hmm. Are there okay. any plans to improve three v three arena awards? Arena only uh, gets PvP track rewards, while in comparison, OPR gets gear crates and feels more rewarding. Uh, so we talked about this a little bit earlier. We agree. Uh, it is a very fast way to progress your PvP track, which we like, but we agree. The, the lack of sort of direct reward, a cash open, uh, does it's just less fun. So we're going to be looking into that. Do any of the devs actively participate in the community on live servers? <laughs> okay. Actively participate? Uh, we, I read it uh, constantly. <laughs> um, I don't quite have the guts to throw my name out there, but... But Michael Levin does all the time for us. Um, on a serious note, our team, we, we read it a lot. I don't think we engage because it's tough when you're a dev to engage because everything, there, there's, there's people who want it and people who don't want almost every comment. That's so for true. us, I think it's more about looking at the data, understanding it, interpreting it, and then trying to figure out what to do with it as opposed to to try to drive that conversation. Now I could imagine, imagine being a dev and like you have like some topics to discuss and then you have like a fucking 10,000 people with different ideas constantly being like, do this, do that, implement this, do that. Why are you not doing this? Can you please fucking do that? And it just becomes too much. So I feel that. And if by chance that question actually meant, do we play on the live servers, like play the game? Is that what that meant? <laughs> I think that's uh, actually what it does, I mean. then the answer is most definitely yes. I think you're up to 260s. I We've got a character that is very end game. Like we we play the the hell out of the game. And we oh yeah, love I mean, it. I've got multiple characters with 625 gear now. So absolutely, I I I'm sorry, I completely mis misunderstood the question. Yeah, uh, will raid groups be enabled in OPR? I would like to see where my team is. So unfortunately, we won't be allowing you to sort of set up a raid group and enter that OPR. And the main OP, reason yeah. for that is just balance, right? I think already the pre-made groups are having a big impact on balance. And I think coming in with a full stack would would definitely be very difficult for the other. But imagine if they took this question differently and you could play OPRs, but raid versus raid. So you could queue up with 25 demons against 25 demons and have some fucking top tier OPR content. That would be sick, for example team so and until we get better matchmaking around that which is is going to be far in the future we, we uh, will not be enabling that yeah i don't want to get stopped do yeah. what basically yes will we get more storage elsewhere to make up for the first light loss i know we weren't doing more of these questions but hmm. uh, well i touched on this earlier uh absolutely I'm not going to say where or how or why or what or <laughs> any more than absolutely with the new arena map being more oh invites went out for the war so we're gonna speed it up a little bit multi-leveled will both teams spawn on the same level uh yes they will uh and by the way this okay so we're gonna do some professional gaming right now we're gonna do boom boom into main menu situation we're gonna watch this on a half be screen you are very soon so you'll get a chance to play it but yes you start on the same level uh which is sort of like the the higher level we're going leading up into straight middle to crescendo, which is super fun to fight over uh, and my favorite thing to do is knock Scott off of that top level down below. Which has never happened. Wait, I missed it. I missed it. By the way, this oh. will be... So they're doing like a different arena with different levels, right? Sort of like the, the higher level leading up into a middle point crescendo, which is super fun to fight over. Uh, and my favorite thing to do is knock Scott off of that top level down below. Which has never happened, so I don't know how it's your favorite. But, but uh, it's, it's a really fun map with multiple levels. And, and speaking of music, kidding, uh, I think the music is really cool for, for the arena stuff, so... Okay, so... One thing about the New World is uh, their music sound team never disappoints. It's actually always so sick. Uh, okay, we're dragged in. We're gonna play a war here in a second. Um, bada bim, bada boom. Let's continue. Enjoy that. And coming to us from our creator program, will the PvP track be reset upon Wait, there's a creator program? Wait, how do I get in that? To his release. Uh, no, it won't be reset, but uh, as we've discussed, the rewards are being completely revamped. Tons more BIS, high-level gear early, 
more umbral, more gypsum. I think people are really going to enjoy this. That's cool. And, and I think just to add on, I don't think that means we're close. We're, we're never going to reset it. Yeah, no, um, definitely but not. just not with season two. All right, that question came to us from Black Swan. This question comes to us from Duke Sloth. Could the lockdown in First Light somehow relate to certain members of the Simeon family that were mentioned in a previous Dev Talk? Wait, what? I'm Could confused. it? Of, uh, okay. The Simeon family that were mentioned in a previous Dev Talk. Could it? Yes, it could. <laughs> Does it and will it? I'm not going to talk about right now because I'm not talking about the expansion. Okay. And um, finally, will you guys ever do f all for PvP content? <laughs> Man, I get this question all the damn time. You know what? I'm going to create a video about it. I'm out of here. Wait, what? Yeah. Award winning <laughs> actor Dave Burfayi exits stage left. Um, thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. If you like what we're doing, subscribe, follow and do all that cool stuff. Otherwise, thanks a bunch. Have a great day. See you in a turn. All right, wait, actually, actually a W, Q, and a, well done guys, smiley face here. A little bit of positivity since we're always negative as fuck towards the devs. That was a great Q and A, not gonna lie. All right, um, that being said, we have work to attend. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, a little like, a little sub. We're almost at 10K, and uh, I'll see you soon with another New World video. Have a good one. Bye-bye. See ya.